Well, parents should listen to this. New research from a professor at the University of Texas at Austin suggesting the summer slide may not be as big of an issue that we might think. Yeah, it's kind of radical. The research says that the study claiming students lose what they learn over the summer if they don't keep working on it is outdated and inaccurate. Mm -hmm. KXN's Jacqueline Powell uh, sat down with that professor today to talk about the findings. Jacqueline, this is pretty different than what we've heard in the past. It is, and Sydney, that study that you mentioned, it's this one singular study. Mm -hmm. It's back from the 1980s, um, and it is what educators still cite when mm -hmm. they're saying, you know, that there's proof that kids do lose some of that knowledge that they've learned over the summer if they don't continue learning during the summer. So for decades, the idea has been that if you don't have your kids in a summer reading program, a summer learning program, that they're going to lose a big chunk of that knowledge. Well, but Professor Paul Van Hippel of uh, UT's mm -hmm. LBJ School sat down with me today. He says his research shows something different. He says it found that those differences in far how far ahead or behind a child is going to be actually start earlier in life. That okay. This is pretty much predetermined by the time kids get into kindergarten when they're around five years old. Uh, he says those will likely always be the kids that are behind or ahead uh, regardless of what they do in the summer. Is that saying that the summer learning programs that are everywhere now are not so important? Well, he says that they are important for those kids who have fallen behind and maybe started out behind because the summer gives them a little extra time to catch up Mm. to their peers who may just kind of be staying stagnant yeah. over the summer, even if he doesn't think that they're, you know, really losing materials. But he says, of course, it's always good for kids, no matter, you know, what level they're at, to continue learning at all times of the year. He just doesn't feel it's going to make a really big difference mm. in um, what kids achieve during the school year, just based upon what they're doing over the summer. Okay. I think we have a little bit of your uh, yeah. interview with him. Let's yeah. take a listen. I don't want to be the guy that says don't worry about summer learning loss it's okay if your kids watch TV and play video games all summer I think a lot of these summer learning programs are uh, have a lot of potential uh, I think a lot of them need to be evaluated more rigorously than they've been evaluated up to uh, to this time and I think we should expect that their that their effects are on the small side and we shouldn't find that disappointing so we've already talked about this for a few minutes now and I'm sure you have even more to tell us about what's coming up tonight it's fascinating, and I will say that Professor Von Hippel admits that even though he has all of this research, there is one major test out mm -hmm. there that shows that there could be a gap for those students who okay. don't learn over the summer, that they could lose some knowledge. He acknowledges that, mm -hmm. and we'll be talking about that more tonight at 6. Fascinating stuff. Jacqueline Powell, thanks, and we're going to switch it over to Jim now.